Now, ABC 15 salutes Arizona veterans. We recognize those who continue to give back to their community. This week, we meet Army veteran Ron Breland. He's working to help prevent veteran suicide. I, I shouldn't be here a hundred times over. And God's got me through every single time. My name is Ron Breland. Um, I'm retired from the United States Army. I spent 15 years in the Army before I got medically retired. But I've got a partially paralyzed right arm, carpal tunnel in both hands, uh, had my ribs broken, my knees are bad, I fractured both ankles four times each. When I was in the Army, I served as a firefighter for the first 12 years. I spent five and a half years jumping out of planes at Fort Bragg. I served in Somalia, Kosovo, and Iraq. On my first combat tour, there was an explosion that knocked me about 10 feet, and there was no such thing as TBIs back then or anything like that. You just got your bell rung and took some Motrin, drank some water, changed your socks, and a few days later, you were back on duty again. Um, but it turns out that's where my doctor thinks the majority of my TBI issues come from was that initial explosion. Um, in Iraq, there were 17 more. And the irony of all of it is after all those tours, after all that time, I spent 25 years in a very dark place. And it culminated about 10 years ago with a suicide attempt. And I was sitting in my garage right here in Glendale and something had to die that day. It was gonna be me or it was gonna be my pride. And I shot it dead where it stood. Now, uh, I serve with my wife's nonprofit, Warfighter Ranch, and our mission is to help heal and help guide, toward, guide warfighters towards Christ and to help in healing their invisible wounds of the heart, mind, and soul. The work that we're doing here at Warfighter Ranch is crucially, it's vitally important because there's an epidemic of 22 suicides a day. I know that's the number that everybody goes with. It's also a very underreported number. Because what that guy sees in the mirror, what that female veteran sees in the mirror is a broken person. And all I see, all I see is family. I just wanna scoop them up and hug them and, and, and just tell them, you know what? You don't have to do this alone. You're never alone and you're gonna be okay. It really is gonna be okay. I've been where you're at. I've been that first responder and lost a child. I've been the, in combat and have seen men fall. And it is terrifying. And it terrorizes your soul. It's time to speak up and speak out, show up and show out and make this happen. It's time to talk about this stuff. And we're just willing to do it. We're brutally honest about all of it, the good, the bad, the trauma, because that's what brought us to this place. There's, there's several resources for you here. Be Connected here in Arizona. There's all the organizations, a giant repository that's been put together. Uh, so, you, so people can find not just resources, but the right resource. I am a grateful, humble veteran who is glad to have served this country it has been the blessing of my lifetime. You know, I may have taken my boots off, but I'm not done. I'm not done serving yet. He tells me when I'm done. Ron, thank you for all you are doing. In recognition of your efforts, Sanderson Ford and Sanderson Lincoln are giving you a $500 Visa gift card. Ron, keep up the good work.